As Iran's nuclear program grows, it seems pretty clear that their plan is to try to build more leverage by expanding their nuclear program. And the potential for weapons of mass destruction increases. Iran is enriching at much higher levels, getting closer and closer to weapon-grade uranium. You might be wondering, what exactly is in the Iran nuclear deal? Let's get this straight. In 2015, six different countries, including the U.S., made a deal with Iran. It happened during the Obama administration. Iran will not get its hands on a nuclear bomb. The region, the United States, and the world will be more secure. That deal, also called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, would lift sanctions if Iran scaled back its resources to the point where it would take them a year to build a nuclear weapon. Theoretically, a year would be enough time for other countries to respond to such a threat. The deal also allowed for inspections of Iran's nuclear facilities. And that's exactly what happened until 2018. President Donald Trump pulled the U.S. out of the deal, slapping sanctions back on Iran. Iran must abandon its nuclear ambitions and end its support for terrorism. President Trump said he wanted a whole new agreement because the restrictions didn't last long enough or go far enough to restrict Iran's other behavior. And we must all work together toward making a deal with Iran that makes the world a safer and more peaceful place. Many conservatives agree. It's a hugely flawed deal. It doesn't cover Iran's support for terrorism, its ballistic missile program, its conventional uh, weapons capability, or its appalling human rights uh, record. But a new deal wasn't formed, and Iran rebuilt its supply of uranium. Now, President Biden wants to reverse course and re-enter the agreement. But that's proven to be easier said than done. The U.S. lost its chance to directly participate in these negotiations when it pulled out of the deal, leaving Germany, France, the U.K., China, and Russia at the table with Iran. Now, just in case talks fail, the Biden administration says they are prepared. If diplomacy cannot get on track soon, and if Iran's nuclear program continues to accelerate, then we will have no choice but to take additional measures to further restrict Iran's revenue-producing sectors. Got it straight? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and make sure you hit the straight arrow bias meter.